this is Joseph with JN Unique Designs. Thank you so much for joining me again today on my channel. I'm sorry I haven't been with you for a few days, uh, a couple weeks actually. Um, I've been just so swamped with so many different things and being pulled in a hundred different directions. But I just got some new toys and I just wanted to share them with you. I'm gonna use a uh, airbrush toy, airbrush tool, and we're gonna play with some alcohol inks and we're gonna color some florals. And uh, I'm gonna finish up a card that I create started already, uh, the Hidden Theater card. As you can see, this is a finished edition. Um, if you're looking at it now, this is what we'll be creating. I'll be finishing up this project here. So the video itself is uh, kind of out of order at this point, but thank you so much for joining me. And uh, I look forward to having some fun with you. So as I mentioned to you earlier, what I've done is I have pre-cut a bunch of Elizabeth Craft Design flowers, as you can see here. But I got this new toy, and I mentioned to you, um, this is a airbrush. This is a wireless airbrush. And with the wireless airbrush, I've learned to play with it, and I'm falling in love with it, definitely so. And it's not that expensive, to be honest with you. It's quite nice. And if you had all these flowers here, um, it would take forever, take a lot longer to do this. And so what I've done is I've already... Um, started working on some cards here and I'll show you how I did it. So this is the one of the cards. This is using um, my florals uh, from Elizabeth Craft Designs and I've airbrushed alcohol ink on top of them to get the, these colors. You can see clearly there's shading involved. So it's just as if you were coloring with a Copic marker and all I'm using is I'm just using alcohol ink. I'm not using anything fancy. Just uh, you can use Copic alcohol refills or you can use picasso or you can use anything ranger in this airbrush sprayer but uh note to self keep in mind that you want to work in a very ventilated area or an open room because um, alcohol is uh, it's being sprayed so uh, again make sure you do use an open ventilated room when you're doing this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a kind of like a halloween floral kind of deal and uh, we'll go from there. It's going to be a fun project, and I look forward to working with you and showing you what I'm doing. So let's go ahead and get started with that. I'm going to go ahead and pull my little spray box here, and it's just a shipping box. Um, I don't feel like I need to buy one of those uh, splatter boxes just because it, uh, I get tons of shipping stuff all the time. So this is my shipping box, as you can see. Nothing really fancy from that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place a piece of white cardstock on there. That's a five and a half by seven uh, cardstock. And I'm gonna take a piece of um, sticky note here that I've already, uh, There's this is a known as a full stick piece of sticky note and I die cut a circle into. So hence, therefore, it will stick all over. So I'm gonna pull this off to the side here. So. Actually, I'm gonna do this right here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm pushing, pressing this down so that it adheres to the paper. Its entirety is adhering to the paper. So I'll place that right there. And then that's fine. I'm gonna start off, when you're doing with the airbrush, what you wanna do is you wanna start off with the lightest ink possible. So you start off with the lighter colors. And then when you start off with the lighter colors, I'm using Picasso turquoise here and uh, I've already, um, so what I'll do is I will open up this lid here and I'll put a couple drops in here. It's not very much, put a couple drops of Picasso in there. I'll close this lid and I'll power on my airbrush. So with this airbrush, if you, I press straight down, it's just air. As you can see, it's just air here. But if I press down and pull back, then it's the color will come to, starts coming out. So what I'll do is I'm gonna start right here. See? Just as such. And then I'm gonna put a little bit more, I'm gonna power it off just a bit. I'm gonna put a little bit more of a darker color, the next color up. Let's go with this one, which is navy blue. If I can undo the lid here, put a little bit, a couple of drops of navy blue in there. As you can see, I'm only putting a couple drops. I'm not putting very much. Power it on. Start it. And what you can do is you can see how it blends already nicely. Put a little bit more in there. Didn't put enough. Okay. 
Hmm. Put some more in there, just because. As such. And since my box is getting uh, in the way here, um, I'll show you what it also comes with that makes it nice. And I'll take some purple. You can't see how many drops on here. Just not too much. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make that. do is I will take another blue and then I will spray really close around this marker here so actually that's a little bit more of a blue purple so I'm just gonna kind of blend it in a little bit more As such and then what I'll do next is I will go ahead and uh, get a black turn this off get a black and what I want to do is I want to put black around the outside turn on the air just to get a little bit of a darker what happened here? That was not the right black. Sorry. Let's try that again. I'm gonna get, this is Picasso black now. There we go. That's more like it. So it gives it a little bit of a darker feel to the, the look here. I don't want it too bright. Like that. And then in order to clean it, it's very easy. I'm just gonna take some water. This is just some water well I have had in my stash here. And uh, without dripping it onto my paper like I just did there, which is not good. And I'll take a tweezer to remove this piece here. And we'll fix that later. But basically all it takes is you spray it in there, just to spray out the ink. And all I did is I sprayed out the ink there. Um, sometimes I like to even take just a plain piece of paper. Where's my color paper? This is a plain cardstock, just so I can spray it out like this, and spray the water. And you, once you see that the color is gone on there, then it's good to go. As you can see, the color is all coming out of there. And then what I'll do is I'll just dump that off to the side here in my trash can. I'll get my paper towel and I'll stick it right into the bowl and I'll just wipe it dry. Just as such. See, and all of my alcohol is gone from there. That's how I clean this bowl. And I like to clean it in between sprays so that it doesn't contaminate the ink and the colors. I'm gonna set this box aside for a moment. And uh, what I'm gonna show you is that this, um, this sprayer does come with a pretty neat little option. And that is just because um, if that box, like I was showing you, getting too close, what I'll do is I'll take the nozzle off. I'll take this adapter piece off and I'll take its, its hose. It comes with an air hose here. Um, it comes with the package. And all I'll do is I'll tighten on the air hose. And that way I can drop that onto the floor here. And then I have more work room. So I'll put this onto here. Like that, as such. And then it's ready to go. And what I'll do is I'll use the air hose so that the pump is not right in the way for the next florals here. But let's go back to this background that we just created here. Get all the water off of there. And basically, you have that. Look how easy that is. Look how cool that is. Now that looks like a kind of a spooky Halloween kind of thing deal. What I'll do is I'm gonna pull in um, I'm gonna pull in uh, my spray box again. 
I'll set the background aside and then I'm gonna put some flowers, take some florals and uh, show you how easy it is and how neat it is to, to do all of them at the same time. Pull my color sheet out of here. I'm gonna place florals in here. Let's see. I try to do some of the same stuff so that, you know, it doesn't look like it's discombobulated. Let's see, I know that I have those ones in there. Let's do that. Let's do these ones. Kind of like a yellowy orange, probably. Let's see here. Find all the right pieces, as I, as I showed you. You know, if you have a lot of flowers to cut, how hard it is uh, to color. So, try to get all the pieces of the same nature together. Give me a second here to look for all these. I hope everybody's doing well. I'm sorry I haven't been with you. It's uh, just been some tough times and uh, I'm finally getting over things and getting things ready and getting back to normal, hopefully. Hopefully that's the key. You know, I'm not quite sure where things are going right now, but uh, so I'm gonna use lemon, Picasso lemon, and I'm gonna put that right into my sprayer. And uh, I'm not gonna even close the lid for this one just because it's, I already know what to do with it. You can close the lid if you want to, but you don't have to. And reaching down here, down below my desk, I turned on the pump already. And all I have to do is test it real quick and look how easy this is. I'm just gonna color, uh, spray some color on here. See? See how easy that is? I'm just gonna color my flowers in that way. Some more lemon. And then I guess the nozzle wasn't that clean yet. Get some more lemon. Spray some lemon in here. Let's see. And now you have a lot of flowers that are ready to go. And alcohol ink dries instantly, so that's why it's it's good. I'll add a little bit more lemon in there. You know, and you can add direct yellow to the centers of these. And a little bit more. I only do a couple drops at a time. Um, I don't do very much in the centers because, you know, you never want to waste your inks. And so what you can do is do that. And then I'll take a darker yellow. Let's do marigold, which is a brown, kind of brownish yellow. And I'll put a couple drops in there. But what I'm gonna do with this the, this one is I'm just gonna go around the edge. Let's see, I'm gonna go around the edge a little bit. Just to give it a little bit of color. And yes, this is the challenging part, is getting them to cooperate. But uh, it's a lot of fun with the air. And uh, if you wanted to, you can even add water to this and you can spray it out and give it 
leave it in color that way. You know, you can get your water onto the florals and they're ready to, for shaping purposes. Remember that uh, what you want to do is you want to be careful with um, how much you put in there. So I already did that. So I'll take my paper towel here and I'll just wipe out the alcohol in there. So you can see. Very easy process. Spray out everything that I have in the hose here in the line. If you wanted to clean it this way, you can blow it up this way just to get things cleaned out by covering the hose. There's nothing left in the hose, as you can see. And I'll take my little piece of paper here and test it. So all the color's gone. You see? And then I'll reach down below here. And as you can see, the hose is here and you just shut it off and I just shut off the tank. And my airbrush is now gone. It's safe. It's in a safe mode. See? Look at that. Now I will take the rest of my papers here, my florals, which are now dry. Believe it or not, they're all dry and ready to go. And they're ready to be used in any way, fashion, or form. See? How easy was that to color? That's easy and fun. I'm gonna take the rest of my other florals here. Let's uh let's do some leaves. Because I haven't done any green yet. So the next grouping here. We'll add a bunch of leaves in here. So anything that has a leafy green design, I will have in my spray box. I, uh, I believe that um, whatever you can do to, uh, to have fun, you know, that's the way to do it. Sorry, I think uh, you might have heard, you might can hear the ambulance running outside of my house here. And I'm just throwing stuff. My workspace is getting smaller and smaller by the day. How many of you uh, are experiencing that today? I don't even know anymore. I don't know how is that possible. I had such a large desk here at one point, and then now it just feels like it's all cramped and tiny. And I'm not sure why. I'll place those in there also, because they tend to be green, the calyx. So let's see if I have any more leaves. I don't have any more leaves. I have a calyx here. All right, time to get my and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna grab some Copic inks. I'm gonna grab a G99 Copic ink uh, instead of my other alcohol ink. And I'm gonna try it and see what happens. So I'll place a couple of drops in here. A couple of drops in there. This is a G99 Copic, and I'll just for safety of spilling, I'll do that. And I'll reach down to my pump here, turn on my pump, my air pump, my air sprayer. Test it in the corner here, looks good. So, ooh, look at that. G99 comes out really different style. Look how fast I'm coloring everything. And it's just a matter of getting every single one. piece uh, doesn't that look cool
you know, all right. If you uh, wanted a spot darker than the other, you can go ahead and pick it up and just spray it in. That's what I'm doing here as I'm picking it up and spraying it in. Or maybe I want this bottom edge here darker. Just for shading purposes. What you want to do is, you see what happens there? I can get rid of that. should be in right enough what right in this good amount of spot here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, some water spray that in there and uh, close my lid so that it can process the ink here what I'm gonna do is I will take these florals out these leaves out actually um, just because I don't want I'm gonna move them all off to one side just because I don't want them to be damaged in any way or form just in case this ink doesn't come out all the way and I'll spray I'll spray one of the leaves here I still have a lot of ink in this tube. I don't know where the ink's coming from. Okay, so note to self, Copic lasts a lot longer than a regular ink. And that was only a few drops in there. So, note to self, Copic inks last longer. Hmm, which must have something to do with the density. I'm not quite sure. I'm gonna have to do some research on that. But you can see there's Definitely, definitely some a lot more ink available to me than I had anticipated. Okay, good to know. That's a good lesson learned. set this aside. Hmm. Alrighty. So I don't know. That's good to know. Alright, let's take all these florals out, these leaves out, and put them off to the side here for future use. I'll be, uh, showing you some I wonder what would happen this is a discovery video I apologize we're uh, we're just not crafting too much here but this is more of a discovery video for me with these new toys so let's see what happens I hope you don't mind so See here, those can stay. I'm gonna take a um, red ink for this. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put red in here. 
once again, a few drops. I'm gonna use the Picasso ink this time. Once again, a few drops, we'll do it. I'll take this air tank and I'll place, that is really loud, so I'm not gonna place the air tank there. I'm gonna place the air tank, hold the air tank off to the side here under my desk so it doesn't get in the way. And then uh, hold this hose. And I'm just gonna darken the center. Perfect, just the right amount of ink in there. Right amount of ink. Let's see, I missed the spot. Come here, you. There we go. I'm starting to get, I'm starting to get the hang, hang of these. This, so, and then I'll take a Brown. This is a terracotta. This is ink. Add some terracotta. Nope, my terracotta hasn't been punctured yet. So I can't use that right now. But I can use sunset. No, my sunset has also not been punctured yet. So I'm going to have to go through and repuncture some of these. Let's do a red and a darker red. Ruby. Ruby is good. Let's do that. Add a little bit of shading to these. That's all I want, the shading. good and then I'll spray this off to the side here to get some of the red ink out of there that water <coughs> or you take a piece of paper this white piece of paper is what I've been using and you just spray that as such get that clean take my paper towel here that's well used and just clean the bowl as such. The bowl's ready to go. Alrighty. All right, enough, enough with the, the airbrush gun for today. I'll take this, place this off to the side, take some of these uh, red florals I just colored here, take these out of my box so that I have something to use. for my next project. And then I'm going to cover up all of my alcohol inks here. And then I will take a, I might take a black, that's what I'll do. I will, I, I lied to you. I was gonna say no more, no more coloring, but I think I need to do this. Add a little bit of black to this. A couple more drops of black in there. And then I'm going to spray some clouds in here. So. Hold on one second, but see I'm coloring. See, so now it looks like it's kind of like a darker color. There we go. Now it's more of that Halloween design. I'll place this. Clean my bowl. Shut off my tank. 
shut off my tank and uh, I'm gonna get that ready and work. Right. So as I was doing that, I'm sorry, I uh, got caught up on a phone call that came through. So let's uh, let's start over again with that. So as you can see, it's uh, been 30 minutes of just playing with different florals and look what I have now. I have all of my florals with all the different shading. You can see all the shades on here, ready to go, used for any project you like. Um, you don't have to, you know, and look how quick and easy that was. 30 minutes and I have all of these florals done, you can see. And then I even showed you how to cloud up this. So we're gonna try to play, I'm gonna finish up this card. I'll play, play with that project more later. This, if you have not seen already, my uh, project design on no shaping florals, this is what I call a no shaping floral. Um, so I had no shaping. All I did was used foam and I popped it up. So check out the video that's on my top corner here. I'm gonna go ahead and link to it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add some leaves to this uh, now. And uh, add some leaves to this. We're using some just regular glue here, just so that it has some dimension. I'm gonna use my um, Elizabeth Craft Design tweezers to make sure that the glue adheres to the paper. And we'll do this. more actually I should have added that below here because it was the smaller of the leaves ignore that and then I'll add a couple more down here no shaping as you can see all airbrushed no shaping at all <laughs> Let's add and do that. Add some more. Hmm. I think it needs more. It needs more something, but I'm not quite sure what yet. So let's just go ahead and add. This is the uh, the art of paper florals. Is uh, you just play. There you go. I think that looks pretty full. That looks pretty nice now. I might even. Um, Add a couple of these in there just to offset it a little bit with color, offset it with a couple of different designs, you know, as such. Yeah, let's do that. Since I always have extra florals, you know, I add that to there. Add this one to here. And press that down. Make sure that's pressed down. And there you go. That's a nice project. And this is what I call a hidden theater. I created this design and um, I, I created it just for the purpose of Elizabeth Craft Designs. As you can see, what you do is you stand it up and it holds open. And if you stand it up holding open, what it does is it looks like that. So I have another video called The Hidden Theater. If you wanna check that out, um, it is a fun a video. Um, some people call it a double panel. Uh, it's because they had taken my idea and made it their own. So, you know, if you are interested in learning more about my design and my cards, this is called a hidden theater card designed exclusively for Elizabeth Craft Designs. So um, we have some people that uh, decided that they were going to
take my design and call it the double panel and uh, that's not appreciated but uh, you know it is what it is since it is posted online it is a free world and uh, I uh, can't say anything further than that except for it is a free world and if you are uh, taking other artists art without giving them credit for it it's uh, kind of cruel of you but uh, uh, that's besides the point so I hope you enjoyed this live with me today. Thank you so much for joining me. And I look forward to joining you once again. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. It just helps artists like me um, continue working with you. Uh, thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.